unless there's an accurate and rapid method to recognize these areas of non-conformance and taking that and implementing improvements, a large percent of these benefits will go unrealized. And I guess the key here is both accuracy and speed. If the results are not captured and turned around quick enough, the required changes can't be made, or by the time the changes are ready to be made, we've already moved on um, from an operational perspective. The majority of existing recons and reporting methods can be both labor and time intensive. It involves the manual ID and digitization of toes, sectioning of wall and the generation generating of reports. The majority of mines nowadays fortunately do collect a high level of data. Um, unfortunately, only a small percent of this data seems to get used to its full capacity. And one of the reasons for that is actually taking that raw data and transforming it into something usable is it becomes quite a time consuming process and sites and mining operations often don't have the available manpower to dedicate to doing that. A lot of sites we see are time poor and from a manning sense, resource poor. Uh, a lot of the departments are maxed out with the work that they're already doing. They're not set up to take on new responsibilities, at least not without neglecting another, another role or another area. And a large percent of site engineers are already consumed with full daily workflows, uh, continuing to maintain manual reconciliation process and reports simply doesn't happen on a lot of sites you go to. I believe everyone understands that the process needs to happen, but it comes down to a matter of resourcing. However, when we do use this data correctly, the data will provide value-adding input into decisions and workflow based on mine sites.